insecurity is something almost every human being has. I have my own body insecurities and all that attitudinal insecurities, but most times I often mask it up with the fact that I know that I'm smart and I've got a pretty face. But that, I also have hairs on my body. Yeah. I am that girl that you would, or people would refer to as, oh, she's a hairy girl, oh, she has hairs on her body, oh, this, this, this and that. Yeah, I know you may not know because I've not really put myself out here on this channel and um, you probably have not seen me outside of YouTube. And um, a couple of persons have seen me outside of YouTube may not still know because I am always hiding it. Yeah, so these hairs of mine have grown over the years has grown to become something I regard as a flaw and as a result I had my legs that are the bearers of these hairs okay so let's throw it back to when it all started growing up as a child I had hairs on my legs mostly on my legs and um, it was something nobody talked about okay so nobody gave me favors or denied me opportunities simply because oh they saw hairs on my body and all of that so it was just something normal people saw it as normal everybody around me saw it as normal it's just as normal as having eyes mouth lips limbs and all of those things so it's just something they we all saw it and we all Nobody talked about it up until my late teenage years and my early 20s it became something I, I became conscious of okay and that was because people started paying attention people started talking about it people started making references to it I became conscious of it to the point that I saw it as a flaw I saw it as something to hide I mean the whole gloriousness the gorgeousness that God blessed me with I saw it as a flaw and this is because of all of the things all of the experiences that led to that point I categorized it into two groups so that this video would make sense to you all right so the first reason is because um, people who identify as females I'm talking about the straight females saw it as something not acceptable something not presentable um so i was getting comments like um people would walk up to me like ah, ah, what are you doing about it you know Mupia, how often do you shave it how often do you use this cream oh i know this i know that that could help and all of those things so these people came in from the big c's level they were trying to help um some other people came in with the fact that this is utterly disgusting a girl should not have hairs on her legs like are you from stone age you know things like that nobody actually said there, but yeah that's i mean if they had the opportunity maybe they could have said that then the other people who came from the angle of this is not attractive or like homo and watch and all and all of those things meaning that men do not like women that have hairs in their body so for me to be appealing of to appeal to the male folk i need to take the hairs off okay so this is it so none of this even makes sense to me none of this even touched me or tried to convince me up until i went for my net on my first national pageant so yeah back in the day I did a couple of pageants and um, modeling and all of those things so my first national pageant and um, you know we had a chaperone and um, most all pageants do have chaperones so this night the chaperone and the one of the female organizers came to my room which I shared with other girls so I can't really recall the conversation that led to that but I recall the, um, the female organizer asking me how I was able to scale through auditions with legs like this that was what she said so I became like the center of attraction and every other girl stood up and were looking at me and all of this and so she wondered you know she gave me a list of things a beauty queen should be and things a beauty queen should not be and top of the list of what a beauty queen should not be is not having hairs on her legs so she said that if I ever wanted to contest on the finale which is like in the next two days i need to get rid of the hairs on my body and girl at that point 
being a beauty queen was like top of the list in my career so i didn't want anything that was standing in my way so i agreed i gave her some money she asked me to give her money to go get me hair removal product so i gave it to her she came back with the product and gave me a list of instructions of what to do and what not to do i used the product and for some reasons it didn't work like it didn't just work out like the hairs are still there looking at all of us so i feel maybe they just consider the fact that i made an attempt to remove the hairs so i was allowed to contest on the finale and at the end of the day i came first runner up so yeah was i thinking that maybe perhaps i could have won the pageant if <laughs> if i didn't have it i don't know but i know that i came first runner up after the pageant so after then i really had a serious thought thing going on like you know if i wanted to go further i wouldn't have to always have this conversation of hairs and hairs not and you know is, is, is this really what it is and then i watched a lot of um what's this channel on dstv style fashion fuck pardon my friends but that channel where there are a lot of fashion fashion spice fashion be fashion i can't recall but that was and then you know but the only thing if you know the channel drop it in the comment section the only thing i was looking out for i was actually looking out for models that had hairs on their body and i didn't see anyone so it really gave me this thing like it seems i'm the only person so if i'm actually going to take this whole modeling beauty queen thing serious i should really like like this is something maybe like an obstruction in my way so i should really really try to get rid of it so at that point i was trying products trying shaving trying this shaving them even the painful ones sometimes it wouldn't work sometimes it would work but after weeks of the hairs would come back and believe you me the first set of hairs i had on my legs were so so beautiful these ones are still beautiful but the first set we are so beautiful more beautiful than what i currently have right so but that was it as a young girl that was so impressionable that was what i really had in my mind then so now that was for the first part of the reasons why i now hide my legs the second part came from the fact that i was always almost being harassed by males talking about those that identify as straight males by males um by females and gay females you know people that are attracted to women like myself or right, sexually actually so whenever i go out wearing short skirt short or short dresses i always get crazy compliments they're not compliments remarks because if you're trying to objectify me i'm not sure that is a compliment right so when i go to places like the market public places even parks i usually hear people say things like ah you know if Abba is like this i wonder how Abba here would be and you know what that connotes right so it got so much that i i lost count like it was so unlimited like if i'm going to the market and i know i'm wearing short thing i know that this is what it will be that i'm going to literally sing it from as soon as i step my foot into the market till i leave so the thing i did then was to either cover up or to not pay attention maybe i suddenly without plan enter the market and i'm wearing skirts like this is what it's going to be if i'm traveling i get to the park this is what it's going to be so that is that then you also get to the part of the people that are assumed to be learned these people are the people that will say things like oh my g i wish you were my girl i wish you were my woman i wish you were my mistress so that i could feel you all day long some will say that they could worship my feet or my yeah my feet and my legs for for the rest of their days and that's in fact that i have their mumu button others will say things like all kind of sexually inappropriate words to me simply because my legs came out to play so i really got uncomfortable with it. i mean if you're in my shoes you would get uncomfortable well i don't know about others but me I am an introvert just in case you don't know so all of the attentions it was getting to me i didn't call for this i didn't want this sometimes i just want to get into a place and go out unnoticed but once my legs are out there is nowhere i am going unnoticed it's it's old as oh my god can i touch can i feel can can you be my girl can i be your man candy mm. 
it is so annoying and the most annoying part is the fact that i lost a couple of opportunities simply because of my head all right so the first one i could remember was as a as an undergraduate student there was this bursary thing that was made available for my for, for students from my local government so I went to apply and that I came straight from school and having studied health related course in Nigeria most of us are made are made to wear white like uniform something like nursing uniform but white so I, I went straight from school to that place so of course it was above my knee my legs came out to play so I got to the man's office to submit my form he begins to ask me questions where am I from my parents occupation my name blah 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 he held my form and I the end of the day he said hey next to the ma i'll call you at the end of the day close of work so that we can talk i was like sir i hope there's no problem he said no we are so endowed in the you've got to make a record say again can you get this one i need to feel your legs very well and the way he said they feel your legs very well i was like you don't have to come you don't have to feel the same power so he was just trying to say that he wants to feel my legs at least so that i could give him some part of the hairs on my legs i left because there were other people waiting and my friend was also waiting i said i told my friend you know she was like don't mind him that you know call maybe that he was just teasing you um, by 7 p.m. that same day, he called, said he's Mr. XYZ, and honestly, I can no longer remember his name. So he said, where am I? So he could come pick me up so that he would feel my leg while we talk. I told him, sir, without the respect, do not call me. I'm not, uh, like, do not come to pick me. I'm not interested in the whole feeling thing and all of those. And he said, do you know that I have the power to put your name in the final list, shortlisted short list because they are not going to take everybody from the local government, they are just going to pick, it's like a random thing. So that this is an opportunity I'm missing out, da, 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 da. and that he knows that I'm not from an indigent family, so that uh, the money I could use it for something extra, you know, take care of myself and he would also take care of me. I said no sir. So at the end of the day, I didn't get the bursary. Yeah, that one passed. Now, which other one? Throughout my postgraduate days, okay, before I even went for my postgraduate, there were a couple of things like places I could go, serious places, like where I know that I'm talented enough to any sport there, but once my legs are out to play, the subject of the whole conversation moves away from the reason why I'm there to reason to my endowment. Can I feel? Can I touch? Can I be your man? Can you be my man? Can we just have a good time together? Even if it's just to be rubbing your legs, that would make me the most happiest man on earth. Most times I would get pissed. I would walk out from this, the, the places because honestly they were really disgusting. Do you know what it means? That maybe for instance there is something, maybe a job or something you go and you prepare, maybe you read the whole night researching, coming up like you're going to wow the whole people and next thing that say let me just feel your legs. I don't know but I, I don't like it. It didn't make sense to me. So that one aside, now the camel would have broke the needle, is it the needle or be the thread? How they say that? <laughs> Whatever that broke the camel's back, you know, the main cocoa that made me decide to hide my legs forever and ever was one day I went to Robin's stores here in Unugo. Alright, so you guys know how the, the main headquarters, like the main office, not before they had the other branches. So I went there. So this middle aged man was following me. This, this, and that. Oh, God. This and that. So, he was just literally begging to touch my hair, to have a feel of my hair on my leg. So, I didn't reply to him. I didn't answer him. I didn't say a word to him. Because usually, at that point, this is something I'm used to. So, I would not pay attention to you. After yearning dust, you, you buzz off. Okay? So, that was what I had in mind that after talking he will go well at some point this one was persistent like it was just like if i shelter this line he's dead and people say i'll oh, go for a minute i'll go for a second i'll go do a full minute work at one so he kept saying this thing so we got to, i got to a loan section and um this man was still behind me at this time he was all like as if he was crying a bit like i don't know if he was crying but the way his voice changed so i turned back to see him he was like like have mercy on me pity me let me just 
and guys this must stand to it he he had full erection i panicked guys i panicked i dropped the basket i was holding i ran away from the store i got outside i ran away i kept running i didn't even look back like if you saw me running that day you think i saw a ghost inside the store or maybe the people walking there would think maybe i forgot my money and that's why i was running to get get so i ran all the way home i was scared i was terrified i got back i was still in school then i got back to my room i cried i mean i cried i cried i cried I didn't tell my roommate anything because i was shivering i i kept crying the only thing that kept coming to my mind was rape i don't know why but i just thought that maybe this man could have raped me there what would have happened what would have become of me like i kept crying i kept crying like i felt how would I use the word? I felt, let's say used or disgusted or I, I don't know the right word. I, like I felt molested at that. Like the thought of it right now still gives me some kind of bad feelings, right? That was how I felt like, what is this? So that day, the following day when I woke up, I decided, you know, this is it. I'm not going to ever, ever, wear dresses, skirts, shorts, bikini, whatever that brought my legs, that exposed my legs, I was not going to wear it again because like what's the point, right? So that was the day I decided that that was it. So the only thing, like going to school then, I, I okay, to even tell the effort I made, because we wore white to school, right? So I, I bought, we were supposed to wear flat shoes to school black or brown so i bought this i don't know if you know all stars converse there was one that had like a pull-up thing so i had to buy it to at least cover my legs and i said i got to see remember what of some of the things i wore like it's actually funny right now so i, I bought that though it was fashionable at the time but it was serving dual purpose for me do you get so immediately after school when i was leaving off campus i would change to my jean trousers immediately that was it that was how i was living my life and it was that serious that even up until my postgrad days i went to postgrad throughout my years in school i never wore skirts to school i was always on trousers 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 even my classmates i'm not none of not i'm not sure none of them had seen my legs that was how i wanted to maintain a low profile simply because i didn't want to arouse anything arise anything arouse anything because i've heard so many english from different set of human beings in the inner around something you cannot manage something like what is wrong with are you all of you mad so i went to school like that way even when it wasn't even convenient for me when i wanted to like you know just to be free and do, mm -mm. i said no just to be on the safe side i to maintain low profile the only day i was scared was on my defense day because there is an unwritten constitution in Nigerian schools or Nigerian universities that you are supposed to defend wearing skirts and you also you also expect not to look your best on your defense day unless they would hate on you, your lecturers and you know mark you down blah 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 so whatever I can't even go into that now but I was scared that it, yet just to walk from my department to my faculty I got the whole oohs and ahs and I remember one guy, he's a staff, not a lecturer, he's been on my case ever since I got the admission thing, I was a student, he was, you know, he saw me, I was like, girl, I knew you've been hiding things under those things, so this is it, and that was it, I dropped the file, I came to drop, carried the rest of the things I was supposed to drop back home, changed into trials, I came back to continue what I was doing, so that has just been the uncomfortable spot I've been, simply because God decided to bless me with something beautiful, but the children of this world decided to make, but children of this world decided to make something else out of it. And you know the funny thing is that I'm trying to think or to recall how the world was able to convince me to believe that it's actually my fault that all of these things are happening. Like how? like how how is it my fault so the word convinced me that i needed to look a certain kind of way to be a certain kind of way or to shrink myself to a certain kind of way so that i don't discomfort people whose minds are not okay so 
anyways i remember in my last vlog i said that i'm making a couple of changes to myself i want to live my life do things going forward so one of the things i've also decided is that moving forward i shall no longer be held responsible for the way you think or you see me like if you're going to see the hairs on my body and get aroused that's on you and that's because your mind is perverted okay it is not on me it is not my fault it is your own fault i'm also going to not shrink myself again at the expense of myself mm -mm. I cannot do that again I cannot I cannot do that again and I'm also not going to try to maintain low profile in places or situations where I should let myself shine or let my talent or even if it's my beauty or my personality shine just so that I'll maintain low profile mm -mm, I cannot do that again and even if I should maintain low profile let it be for other reasons not because I've got hairs on my body it doesn't make sense to me okay it doesn't it no longer makes sense so whatever it is even if i was jazzed up all those years thinking let me keep shrinking let me keep cowering let me keep hiding let me keep doing the low profile thing no 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 that jazz has worn away i won't do that anymore so moving on this year and cheers to being colorful this year if you watched the last vlog you know what i mean i'm, I'm going to wear more skirts body shorts midi long whatever it is i'm going to wear shorts that is aka knickers i'm going to wear dresses the short ones i'm also going to wear bikinis so whatever it is you want to feed your mind is entirely on you not on me okay so i'm just going to listen to what my mood asks me to wear and what the weather asks me to wear so if the weather is so hot and i need to wear shorts to run around hello your baby girl is going to wear that and whatever it is you're thinking like i said is on you not on me i am done doing that shit it is so 2021 this is 2022 and i'm here to tell you that you are welcome to a new dispensation things have changed things have changed i will no longer live that way okay doesn't make sense so this is where i'll be dropping the vlog and um i don't know if this makes sense to anybody but you should be able to live your life the way you want it no matter what it is that you have you're not hurting anybody so just live your life and for people that try to objectify women the people that try to objectify men for whatever reason just stop it because you know a lot of people say things like ah, i was just joking i didn't know it was that serious you don't know what you're putting people through imagine seeing me and like oh neka meto to aka just wish you are my woman you are my girl or if abba is like this oh my hell do you know what it puts me through do you know how many times it rings in my head and i'm like what it, it doesn't make sense and yeah i also get it a lot of women say to me that i'm lucky that i should use the whole thing to my advantage but that is not my mo i rather you give me something i rather acquire something based off merits other than um, for me it's 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 insulting that is just it so i'm not trying to claim pyros or to be sent vera or anything like that but it's insulting for me that perhaps you want to give me something because you felt my legs or i should allow you feel my legs it's not my mo so i'm not going to fall for that or fall to that all right if it's yours carry on but it's not mine but what i know that this i'm just going to be free live my life be myself and yes i'm also not going to attempt to shave my hair i'm also not going to try to wax it or to use whatever it is and this is nigeria i don't trust a whole lot of things so why introduce something for you to my body at the expense just so that i'll please you guys or be presentable or to appeal to you i'm sorry i love me so much right now that i can't do any of those things to please you all right so that is that um I just wish the video inspired someone out there to love herself or himself very more very well and to live above the societal expectations of this is what should be or this is not what it should be all right so that is that for me moving forward and thank you for watching this video i didn't know it was going to be this long all right but we're already here and thank you for watching this point point thank you so much and you're welcome to a new dispensation with me where self-love self-awareness self-appreciation being kind to myself to my body to everything is the mantra for this year all right 
So imagine me, in all my goodness, fullness, glory, dripping glory, Ella Dumaris masterpiece. Don't mean to shrink, don't mean to hide, don't mean to be tiny rapper. I would have said their father, but let's say their daddy. So guys, thanks for watching. If you got to this point, remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video, share with your friends and your family, and just tell me if there is something similar you're going through and how you were able to either cope with it or how you are coping or what you intend to do. Let's just have a conversation in the comment section. And remember to be civil. If you try to be violent or insulting, YouTube will take away your comments and I will not see it. So that means it's a wasted effort on your part. So do you really want to risk that? I doubt. Bye.